Yeah, folks, Sean Broderick here. I'm at the New Orleans Investment Conference, and I'm speaking to Ryan King. Now, he is the Senior VP for Caliber Mining. I have written about his company, and I've talked to him for years now. Uh, they're doing great stuff down in Nicaragua, where not only do they have production, they're making new discoveries, and they have a project that is producing in Nevada right now. So he's going to give us the whole scoop on the company. Ryan, could you please yeah, speak to my viewers? Absolutely. Well, thanks. Thanks, Sean. Sure. Uh, it is an exciting time. I mean, uh, although we are feeling inflationary pressures in our costs and our inputs, um, and the price of gold is down, now could be a really interesting time for viewers to pick up uh, and look closely at caliber mining. As Sean said, we are a gold producer, and we've been growing year over year. This year, we've guided the market that will produce 220 to 235,000 ounces of gold between Nicaragua and Nevada. Um, it's been an exciting time because we have a nice growth profile ahead of us. Mm -hmm. We've just recently received permits for another new satellite pit that will feed into one of our uh, f um, processing facilities at much higher grade. So this year, uh, from that same area, we're producing about 3 grams per ton gold, and next year it'll be 6.5 grams per ton gold. And so this is in Nicaragua, Correct. is that right? Correct. And, and also you have other targets beyond that, is yes. that right? Oh, yeah. No, we've got a se several fe uh, sources feeding into two facilities. And what we're seeing is that, and what we've provided the market is an outlook of increasing grade, to increase gold production. Mm -hmm. So that should lead to lower costs in 2023 and 2024. It's an amazing time. I mean, Caliber's market cap today is about 300 million US. Mm -hmm. We produce over 200,000 ounces of gold. Uh, we've got $92 million in cash with no debt and we're unhedged. So, mm -hmm. uh, and on top of that, um, it's an exciting time because we're investing into the assets for the future. So at one point in time, we had 17 rigs operating this year. And yes, we have a new discovery in Nicaragua called Pantheon North, and very high grades. Uh, this is about a kilometer away from an existing underground mine. And we've discovered, we've had intercepts uh, over two ounces per ton, over six meters. So a number of intercepts like that, and we're drilling there now. So a very exciting opportunity for us. And I think that that's going to pay dividends when the market starts paying attention to did, gold silver stock. Did you say ounces? Correct, correct, ounces. That, ounces. So that, that is extremely high grade. You know, we've got uh, one or two intercepts over 60 grams per ton, hmm. uh, five to six meters in, in estimated true widths. So this would be an underground mine. Right now, it's not even in our resource and reserve category, and it's still wide open, a long strike and down plunge. So we've got five rigs operating there right now. We believe that there's a, a lot of potential because we've mapped out uh, and vectored in a, as to with our geophysical surveys and geochemical work that this could be multiple kilometers long. So it's pretty exciting. Okay. I have a couple questions. One is what's the all-in sustaining cost? So this year we've guided for 1200 okay. to 1275 We would anticipate because of higher grades and similar volumes that will have uh, lower costs next year. Mm -hmm. Just like you, when you look at the math there, we'll, we'll have higher ounce production out of Nicaragua, higher grades, which should lead to a lower per ounce all in sustaining cost. Okay, and your production there, is it all gold or else is it other metals as well? We, we have a small, a small amount of silver credit, but predominantly gold. Okay, yeah. that's what's going on in Nicaragua. But you have a project in Nevada, which is interesting to me because it's the PAN project, which I visited a long time ago, yes. donkey's years ago. Yes. And at the time, the project didn't work out, but you guys have been able to make it work. So let's hear that story. Well, so yeah, no, we closed this deal to acquire Fiore Gold mm -hmm. in January of this year. And, and one of the opportunities there, and, and so Fiore is a, is a smaller 40 to 50,000 ounce a year heap leach mine mm -hmm. um, just outside of Ely, Nevada. And uh, the Fiore team were really the team that rebirthed it. Um, they saw some opportunities to fix some metallurgy, uh, to blend some different rock types, and it's been working quite well for them over the last couple of years, and they've been ramping up production. But one of the opportunities that we saw here is not only their gold production coming out of here, but a nice big land package in a relatively underexplored district. Mm -hmm. You know, So if you look at that company, they'd only spent about a million, maybe a million and a half on exploration at PAN. This year, uh, we'll do about almost $10 million in exploration work at PAN. So we believe there's an opportunity to really significantly expand resources. And it, and it will happen over time. We've, we've been announcing drill results all year. Uh, shallow, good grade material. you got to remember, PAN's average grade is 0.4 grams per ton gold yeah. in the reserve. And we've been hitting intercepts as high as 3 grams per ton gold. Near really? Surface. Yeah. Oh. So we're quite optimistic about the opportunity there. And then the project next to it, only about 20 kilometers away, is called Gold Rock. Right, so 
we're now advancing technical studies, and Gold Rock is federally permitted. It's a smaller 500,000 ounce resource, but it would be a, another heap leach opportunity for us. When you say three grams per ton um, striked, how long of a distance is that over? So that was one of the best hits we've had in our last press release, which we put out in August. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we were over about about 20 meters. Really? Near surface. Yeah. Hmm. So a uh, good intercept there. Uh, more drilling happening in and around that to see what the potential looks like. But the average we've been seeing in most of the drill intercepts have been anywhere between between 15 and 50 meters of between 0.6 and 1 gram per ton gold. So more of the same of what's currently existing, but it looks like we have potential to expand resources, uh, potentially increase reserves, mm -hmm. um, but there's still more work to be done. So PAN is, is heap leach. So mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, it's a single stage crushing um, and then onto the pad yeah. and then ADR plant. So we produce gold there. Okay. This year we'll do about 40 to 45,000 ounces of gold. Um, we haven't put any, uh, and next year will be a roughly the same. Uh, so yeah, no, it, it's a good little project for us. It helps diversify the portfolio. So that was always the goal of Caliber to get uh, work towards a half a million ounce a year producer. And as you'll see over the next couple of years, uh, doing a bit of due diligence on the company, that we've been increasing gold production, largely based on grade. But now we've acquired Fiore, so it has that potential to double production, get us almost 100,000 ounces in Nevada. And, you know, we do between uh, this year 180 to 190 in Nicaragua. Next year we'll increase based on some of the higher grades we talked about. Okay, so we're speaking in October 2022. What can my viewers expect to see from your company between now and, say, the end of next year? Oh, lots of lots of activity. I mean, this year uh, we did 170,000 meters of drilling. We still have results coming out regularly. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll have more drill results coming out uh, this month, next month. Uh, we are working on a new permit for another satellite deposit, which is 6.8 grams per ton gold in an open pit in Nicaragua. We anticipate we'll get that during the fourth quarter, uh, and then we'll be advancing that satellite deposit to feed into one of our facilities next year. So there'll be more news on that. Uh, more news on drilling. Uh, I mean, that'll be a big part of our story going forward, mm -hmm. is following up on the drilling in Nicaragua and in Nevada and then steps that we're taking towards uh, advancing Gold Rock. So lots and, of milestones. And will you have a new resource estimate coming Correct. up? Correct, yeah. So every year we do a, a shore up or an update of resources and reserve based on the drilling we've done the previous year. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at the company, actually, we've increased grades of our reserves year over year. And actually we've increased over 250% our reserves. So we're over at a, over a million ounces of gold at 4.6 grams gold in Nicaragua. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and that's been a tremendous increase over the last couple of years after 350,000 ounces produced by the company. So we'll have another one in February of next year, uh, and that will include this new area that we're drilling, which will be exciting for me because I think it's going to not only grow, but it's going to increase overall grades for the company as well. Mm. Well, I like that you, that you have production. Mm -hmm. I, I like that you're increasing that production, that you're increasing your grades, that you aren't a uh, one-project company, you right. have something else, and uh, also that you have plenty of cash in the bank. So, yeah. I mean, in these times, no one wants to go raise money from the market, right. and you guys don't have right. to. Well, that's a, that's a unique thing for us is not only are we able to self-fund mm -hmm. uh, all of our exploration and growth, but uh, we do have a solid cash balance. You know, at the end of Q2, we had $92 million in, in the bank, no U.S., uh, no debt. And you know today our market cap is 300 million US, so a tremendous opportunity, very low EV per ounce of production. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that provides a, a unique opportunity because, as you said, you don't want to go back to the market and raise cash right now at these lower valuations. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Um, let's give people the uh, stock symbols, uh, sure. US and Canada. Yeah, so uh, we trade on the OTCQX under mm -hmm. the symbol CXBMF and on the TSX, the main board, uh, under the symbol CXB. Okay, great. Well... Great company. I'm so glad that I ran into you yeah. down uh, in the floor. But that's the thing about the New Orleans Investment Conference is it's a small conference and it's packed with like great companies. So you just walk around, you bump into them. And uh, this is a fascinating story. I've always been interested in caliber mining. It um, definitely has, I have to say, proven naysayers wrong. A lot of people were kind of worried about producing in Nicaragua, True. you know, because yep. you... You guys went in there, but you showed that can work. Yep. Yep. And uh, not only are they showing it can work, but they're increasing grade, increasing production, expanding into Nevada. It's a great story, and one will have to check out more. Thanks very much for speaking to my viewers. You guys stay tuned.